My name is Hannah Palin. I am the Film Archive Specialist at the University of Washington Library Special Collection. I started life in the theater and then went into the food business and then was like, okay, I'm done. And I needed a career shift and fell in love with uh, documentary filmmaking. So I came here to the U, did an extension course, learned about filmmaking, did some work out in the field, um, was on set some for commercials and some Hollywood productions, that kind of thing. Got a feel for it, but I needed a day job. So again, through a strange series of events, I ended up at this small company that um, transfers home movies to uh, videotape for the home market, mostly. So I ended up for five years sitting in the dark watching home movies over and over and over again, which to other people sounds like torture, but for me, I just completely fell in love. I, I was enthralled with the medium and with the content and with the people that I ended up talking to and hearing their family stories and knowing that I was somehow going to get to to move this this content, this film, from um, being in a shoebox to actually living for future generations. and. It just, I just had the greatest time. <laughs> and then um, in 2001, I think it was, a filmmaker we'd been working with came to, came to the store and was asking, was telling me that he, um, that he'd just heard about a conference in Portland where the, all they were going to talk about was, was um, small gauge film. And he, so I kind of investigated it and called down to the EMEA office and said, well, I'm not really an archivist and, you know, I, can I still come? And, um, and then I said, I can't afford it either. Can I volunteer? And um, I believe it was Janice Simpson said, come on down. We'll do it. Well, you know, so she set me up as a volunteer and I spent the week at EMEA and was just blown away. Because, sorry, I still get a little emotional because I was so amazed that there were 400 other people on the planet who cared about home movies as much as I did. And I was just, I went from session to session and from panel to panel and just was completely enthralled. And I met wonderful people and got to, um, got to get engaged in this great community that, and I felt really supported and excited. And I mean, when I think about it, so that was 10 years ago. So this is almost to the day. So it was, it's been quite a journey from here to there. And uh, I was, um, oh, outside of the luncheon, and I met Nicola Bromberg, who had just become the visual materials curator here at the U. And um, she gave me her elevator pitch for a regional film archive idea. And when she was done, I was like, me, I want to go. I want to play. So um, she gave me her card. And we got together for coffee, I think, in January sometime. And that was it. I was hooked. I came and volunteered. And then she started writing grants. And we started working together. And grant after grant. And after grant, we built the program from you know, a table stuck by the copy machine with a set of wines to actually something that's viable that helps serve the university and the public. So.